Welcome to today's episode. Uh, today I want to talk about protecting and cherishing the gifts that you have and that you are to the world around you. So this is a time of year when everyone is focusing on, and the world around us is focusing on gifts and, and material uh, objects and things of that sort to give to one another and to receive from other people. And what I want to help remind you of is the gifts that you have that are so absolutely valuable and to be cherished and to be held as the epitome of the ultimate gift that you can possibly ever have or receive. So the gifts that you have that you give to the world are just innate talents that you have, ways that you see the world, a perspective that you might have, a certain sort of sentimentality that you have about the way you orient yourself to this world. It'll feel good and it'll be something that you're drawn to. So those are the gifts that I'm talking about. These are gifts that we give to others without even knowing, that we receive benefit from without even realizing and we don't do it with much effort it just happens and the world around us reflects that sort of exchange that happens but it's not done in a way with any sort of debt in mind we're not giving this gift to the world around us because we Okay, <laughs> you stand in nature, you get nature on you. <laughs> so your gifts are things that you give to the world without even realizing. And these are perhaps something that you do. It's a characteristic of your personality. It can also be an actual thing that you make. However it is that you see this gift, it is something that you realize is uniquely yours and that people identify and can acknowledge in you. It's not necessarily in a very overt, very obvious way, but it'll be something that you really are good at, something that comes very easily to you. So the protection of these gifts is something that is the best gift for yourself. The need to protect these is not to keep them from other people or to hide them, but it's rather actually a, a way to keep them optimal, to keep them pristine. The gifts that we each as individuals have in the world are not something that everyone will cherish. We wish they would and we hope they acknowledge them, but unfortunately there are many people in this world who despite their own innate talent and gifts, they are very jealous of others. They have a lot of uh, animosity and a lot of aggression towards people who tend to have these sorts of gifts that can be shared with the world around them and just simple everyday things. So in the effort to give yourself the ultimate gift, this is that. To protect your gift is to simply be very discretionary with who you share it with. If you find yourself at any time feeling the person that is in your company, that is in the ability to receive the gift that you offer to the world around you, just you, you are the gift, and you notice that they don't receive it or you feel bad afterwards. That's usually the biggest indicator. When you feel bad after being around them, and you feel some sort of uh, negative perception of yourself, things like that are usually an indication that the person that you're in company of is not genuinely connecting with you in a way that is reciprocating to what you're offering. And the reason why I mention that is because the, those types of interactions and exchanges can make us as the individual with this wonderful capacity for giving feel bad about ourselves. We can turn inward and turn into guilt and shame and all kinds of things that become personal offenses and become personal attacks. So when I say to protect it, be just having some discretion. Having some discretion in this world is, is all I mean. And um, the other way is to give it in a way that is best for you. 
giving these gifts out is not something that is for other people. Other people do benefit by what you give, and that's a beautiful and wonderful thing. But not everyone is needing that or deserving of it at all times. There's a wonderful book that I've been reading recently that having really nothing to do with this subject matter actually lent itself to being very uh, poignant and very timely for me. I found that it was discovering myself and how I give to the world and realizing how often I do this in hopes of a return that I realized that the wrong people are receiving, right? And it's not that every that there's levels or good or bad or anything of that sort, but you can feel when it's a right time and you can feel how much you should, you know, kind of give and reciprocate in that world around you. When someone that you're around feels good and you feel happy and you feel fulfilled and you feel replenished after being around them, that is someone who has reciprocated that gift giving. So those are probably people that you can give a bit more, a bit more volume, a bit more, a bit more space in regard to how you, you emanate that gift to the world around you and share it. The people who don't deserve your gift are the ones who make you feel bad. And that's simple and as easy as that. So protecting your gift isn't about hiding it or keeping it away from people, but it's rather to keep it for yourself. That's the real objective, is to really know that that gift is yours to give. It is for you. And it's something that pays you back in tenfold every time you are able to really be in the flow of what your gift is. You will feel that in your energy and you'll feel that in your state of well-being. And that's why you want to have some discretion when you go out into the world and offer these gifts. Gifts are something that we're all given at birth. We all have them. None of us are excluded from this. However, there are many times in people's lives, if not an entire lifetime of a person's experience, that they will not have the opportunity or the patience or the environment that supports them that allows them to discover this. And if you've had an opportunity to discover your gifts and the way that you are to be in this world, that what you have to offer, if you've been able to discover what those are, all the best to you. It is a challenge to actually come at peace and be with those talents and those skills. Not everyone wishes the best for us. Not everyone wishes to help support and bolster and endorse those gifts that we give. So take the time, acknowledge who you are in the presence of others, and know that you as an individual are an absolutely cherishable gift to the world around you. Acknowledge that, take the time to foster it, protect it, and really develop it and let it be nurtured by everything that you do. Go out into the world knowing that you have something to offer for yourself, not for others, but for yourself. And then I hope that you might discover that it's really the way it is. Give for you and all of a sudden the world around you receives. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for joining me today. Much love and may you be blessed. And thank you for being a truly wonderful and beautiful spiritual being. Mwah.